The oven bird is an interesting warbler that you should know. Although not rare, they are more commonly heard and not seen in the dense forest. I've documented them before scratching the leaf litter on the forest floor for invertebrates, such as beetles and their larvae, ants, caterpillars, flies, and other insects. The oven bird walks in an exaggerated fashion as it looks for food on the ground. It doesn't hop like most songbirds. This is the first time one has made an extended visit to the mountain spring deep in the forest of the Great Smoky Mountains, and clearly they take their hygiene seriously. The oven bird looks so much like a thrush that John James Audubon first called it the golden crown thrush in Birds of America. They are fascinating birds, and while some call them plain, I think they're quite stunning and unique warblers. I love their golden crowns. It gets the name oven bird because of its nesting habit as noted by Audubon. He said the nest is so like an oven that the children in many places called this species the oven bird. I found it always on the ground, sometimes among the roots of tall trees, sometimes by the side of a fallen tree and again at the foot of some slender sapling. It is sunk in the ground among dry leaves or decayed moss and is neatly formed of grasses both inside and out arched over with a thick mass of the same material covered by leaves, twigs, and such grasses are found in the area. A small opening is left on one side, just enough to admit the bird. In this snug little nest, the female deposits from four to six eggs, which are white, irregularly spotted with reddish-brown near the larger end. So keep an eye out for this unusual warbler on a walk in the dense forest from the mid-Atlantic coast through the Midwest and Upper Plains and on up into Canada in the summer breeding season.